Okay, so last week I told you I was going to set up a little thing to vote. Right now, you should be seeing somewhere on the screen annotations leading to different videos uh, on different topics, uh, where, where, they, where you can vote for different topics. Um, and the way it works, you can go there. In some of the videos, I might give a little more detail on what the series would be about if that's what I decide to do. Now, these are all things I'm interested in doing series on. It's just a matter of what should I do next, and I want to get your opinion. If there are two things that are really close in votes, I might pick the second one because it might be something I'm a little more interested in, but I still will want to hear what you guys have to say. So basically all the stuff it will hopefully be stuff that I'll do to series on in the future. It's just what will be the next series that I'll start in a couple of weeks. And the way it'll work is you click on the annotation, go to that video. Again, I might describe a little bit more about what the topic is about, uh, and then you like that video if that's what you want. I'm not going to be looking at the number of views because I don't want to count people who go there to get more information or people who accidentally click on the link. I want to just count the likes. I'm not going to be counting dislikes. I don't think you're going to be canceling out someone else's like with a dislike. Um, and it's just, once again, just to get your opinion. Um, these videos are uh, you know, set to unlisted, so you should only be able to get to them through these annotations or if you share one of these links with somebody else. So that will avoid... Um, you know, once again, people accidentally clicking on them, and that's why I'm doing the likes. Um, so, again, uh, go ahead, check them out, um, and uh, feel free to vote on more than one if you're interested in more than one topic. Um, but I would not vote on all of them, because if you vote on all of them, that's kind of canceling out your vote. But if there's, you know, two topics that you like, or maybe three, go ahead and vote on all three of them. Um, so, yeah. Check out the annotations, click on them, and uh, I know, you know, uh, a lot of people, even though I said in the last video, some people still requested that I do uh, QT and GTK uh, GUI interfaces, and I think GTK is great, and I think QT, um, I used to like GTK, I, well, I don't want to say I liked it better, I, I was more familiar with it, but if I, if my word of advice, if you had to pick between GTK and QT right now, I would go with QT, because, um, mainly because they are now you know, becoming compatible with uh, iPhone and Android, so, you know, you don't have to rewrite your software. But again, I'm not doing videos on those anytime in the near future because I just plan on using HTML5 for all my GUI interfaces because it's just, I just like it better. And it's easier to port, and it's easier to write, it's easier to modify both as a developer and an end user. So again, those are my reasons. So you guys can ask as much as you want. I can get a million vote well enough. I guess if I got a million people requesting GTK or QT videos, I might do them. But it's really not a topic I'm interested in doing. I don't I haven't used that stuff in probably over a year. I, once again, I think it's great. It's just not what I'm looking for. So you can keep asking, but it's probably not going to happen anytime in the near future. I'm sorry. <laughs> you know, it's just... I just want to make that clear so you guys can stop asking. Um, but I have a list of things that I want to go over from, you know, uh, creating live CDs and doing other types of installs to, um, to C, which I'm not a great C programmer, but I know some basics. And if that's what you guys are interested in, it would benefit me to learn. And I learn better when I'm teaching. So that'll be in there. So again... I'm just kind of talking now to give you time to, to make a decision. So I hope that one of these topics is something you're interested in. So go there, and if that's the topic you're interested in, give it a like. Um, this isn't some trick to get you guys to get a bunch of views and likes on my videos because once again they're unlisted. So the only people that are going to go there is you guys. And when you, in a week, I'm going to delete the videos because I don't want people to continue voting for them. By the way, today is, uh, well, today, tomorrow is when I'm posting this video. September 18th is when I'm posting this. So a week from then would be the final date for the vote. Um, so after that, the videos are going to be deleted. So I don't think I'm trying to trick you guys into viewing a bunch of my videos and liking them so that Google thinks that I'm all great. Uh, I'm not benefiting from this anyway, other than getting your info because they're all going to be deleted after I tally up the votes and they're unlisted. So they probably won't get very many views other than the people who want to vote for them. So I'm not trying to trick you into, you know, it's not like a contest where it's like, subscribe and like. You know, you don't even have to be a subscriber, 
you know, you just have to have a YouTube account to vote. And that's just, I think, a simpler way than me setting up something, you know, to prevent multiple votes from the same person. Yeah, you can create more than one YouTube account. But uh, I, if you're that into a topic that you're going to create a whole bunch of YouTube accounts to vote for something, well, then, uh, you know, uh, good for you. <laughs> anyway, um, so again, I'm just talking to give you time to vote. Vote on more than one if you'd like. But I'm looking forward to hear what you have to say. So have a great day.